this is so common. This happens so common. And I've seen this happen to my friends. It happened to me. Hmm. Cock blocking. Cock blocking? Cock what? blocking. So this is what happens most to a lot of guys, okay? A guy will pursue a girl in a group and she'll be like the attractive one, right? And then she'll vibe with him like, oh, yeah, you know, like she'll flirt with him. But it's always the one who's unattractive in the group. They'll be like, no, my friend's not interested. It's like, oh, who the fuck asked you? I don't know how many times that has happened yeah. in my life. And I've seen it with my friends. Mm. Have you ever had a situation where your friend cock blocked you? Yes. Tell us. It was just when I was younger. Like I was probably like I was underage going to the clubs, you know, so. Um, not underage, like no, I, I got 18, what but like not twenty one. And I've always had like older friends, mm -hmm. so I've my older friends would definitely like shelter me. Really? Yeah. If someone was talking to me, they'd be like, "No, go away." And like, were you upset at that? Impressive. I don't really remember because it was such a long time ago. But like, I think I don't, I don't mind it because I don't really go out to like look for guys. I'm I go out to have fun mm -hmm. anyways. So it didn't really phase me. Yeah, but some like I mean guys will it would be like, oh we missed that opportunity, you know? Mm -hmm. It we would hurt us. It. Yeah. But that yeah, that always happens. And I don't know how many times I've seen like people post and they're like, oh she said no to me because of her friend. I'm like, yeah, it's always the unattractive one. It's so weird. It's always it always happens. But have you ever cockblocked anyone? Well actually when I was at that age we all kind of like maybe cockblocked each other? Yeah. Maybe not me as much, but like my one friend did a lot. Um, so we talked last time about red flags and we never once touched green flags. I know you said you want like kindness and stuff, but what are some green flags for green you? Green flags, good communicator. They have like a good attitude about life. I think that's a green flag. Ability to admit they're wrong. Yo, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Not all the people have that. I love those answers. Uh, green flags. I, lo I love girls that have good relationships with their family. Mm, that's true. I, like, I hate people that disrespect their mothers. Me too. Yeah. You know, it's just like, bro, it's your mom. It gives me like an icky feeling. 100%. Like, you don't call your mom once a week? Mm -hmm. Who does that? What do you think is a girl's sexual prime? Isn't it like 30 or something? For a girl? Well, I don't know. Isn't that what... Oh, I thought that was like the scientific thing. No? I feel like I've That's for a that. guy. Oh, that's for a guy? Yeah, 30 plus. I don't know. Like, her sexual peak? Think? Like, what do you mean like? So what, what ages, between what ages is a girl's sexual prime in terms of like the dating marketplace? Mid-20s? Really? Mid-20s? Early 20s? You don't really, you, you have no idea? No. Wow. What, what do you think? Maybe mid-20s. Mid-20s. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's when you start becoming who you are, like your mid-20s. And what about for a guy? Late 20s? No, we're, we're not worth anything in our early 20s. <laughs> oh. For guys, it's like, yeah, for guys, 30? it's 30s plus. Okay. Yeah. Guys don't have their value until like... 29 plus. Okay, okay. Do you agree though? I'm learning things. <laughs> I'm learning things. I can, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, what is the sexiest body part you find on a man? Their arms. Arms? Yeah. Biceps. Their butt. And their butt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>